Now that we finish our steelwork construction, we will add exhaust duct to our model. To fix the height, I will just provide a helper line to have my starting point for the duct. By clicking the channel tool, I pick this point and indicate the direction in which the duct is supposed to face. By clicking here, I confirm it. Now, I have a selection between five different types. I have straight channels, reducers, elbows, T's, and pipe elbow, as we call it. It's a straight pipe piece that has already an elbow attached. I will start by using a straight channel. The first step here is to indicate the width. In this case, I just stick with the three feet by two feet. By clicking, I confirm that, and I just give it a certain length. We can now delete our helper lines. We don't need them anymore. And now we will attach an elbow. The elbow gives you an indication of first what direction it's supposed to show. By clicking, you confirm it. The parameter over here lets you select either a round elbow or a rectangular elbow. We go with the round elbow, and now we can select the angle. In this case, 90 degrees. A click confirms that. The next step allows you to select the radius to diameter ratio. You just go with 1.5 and attach a straight shot to the top. Now we can add another elbow over here, which is facing in the other direction. If we make a double click now, it will automatically select the configuration of the previous elbow. Now is the first time that we use our edit tool. The edit tool allows us to manipulate either a pipeline steelwork or pipe as later and channel. By clicking here, it gives us an indication of what we can change. In this case, it's the length of the straight piece or it's the height. So in this step, we just change the length. We will just catch the outer limit here and move it inside for a couple feet. We will attach another straight piece with a random length. So now we want to add a T-piece in our duct. We can do it in two different ways. By clicking the T function in the channel tool, we can either attach it at the end of an existing, or we can put it right in an existing channel, which I will do in this case. First step after this is to indicate the length and its position. Second is what direction the branch will look. We'll just have it face this way. And the other step is to indicate the length. We will just go with 2 by 2 and now our T-piece is already finished. Now we want to make a reducer. First we indicate the length and now width and height. The client gives us a possibility to change over the reducer to a round type. As I select the round type, it immediately changes the outline here and it gives me access to the pipe conceptual library. So we just select the library we want to, in this case Imperial Steel Ductwork, and we can select the size we want to have by using the pins. In this case we use a 14 inch steel duct. The click confirms the selection. The next 
point gives you an indication if you want to have it centered or off-centered in this direction and now if you want to have it centered or off-centered in these directions. We just pick a center one. So now the functions of uh, the channel are explained and we will proceed by using 3 scan pipe conceptual in the next step.